to induct Pink Floyd into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame from Smashing Pumpkins, Billy Corgan. Um, hi. I know it's a little late. I'll uh, keep my remarks to the length of an average Pink Floyd song. Um, I'd like to start uh, with some personal reflections. Um, I grew up in the 70s and 80s. I'm roughly uh, 28 years old. And when people would say Pink Floyd, before I even heard a note, there was a certain reverence that surrounded this band. They were a strange anomaly in the 70s filled with this horrible, awful music, which some of you in this room are responsible for. They were a mysterious band. You didn't really know what they looked like most of the time. They had amazing artwork that had pyramids and prisms and crazy things. And the first album I heard was Dark Side of the Moon, which, as we all know, is probably one of the best albums of all time. Uh, I first heard this album in the Wall era, which, to me, at my tender age of 14, was too creepy, too intense, too nihilistic, and of, of course, these are all the things I believe in now. Through Dark Side of the Moon, I, I sought out their other albums, and I, and I became a fan. And when I was 17 years old, my, uh, my grandmother was diagnosed with cancer. And it was one of the most painful periods of my life. And the Pink Floyd song, Wish You Were Here, seemed to sum up everything that I was feeling. And when I couldn't take what was going on in my life with her dying, I listened to that song over and over, and it still makes me cry. It's such a beautiful song. And, uh, you know, when you're 17, heaven from hell, blue skies from pain, it means a lot. And so this is why I think I'm here at this particular moment, to uh, thank them for everything that they've ever done. So when I was asked to do this, I thought, well, you know, I could come out here and go on and on about the mystery and mythology of Pink Floyd, but I thought I'd actually go back and listen to a lot of the records that I had impressions with and had listened to, but go back as, a, as an adult, per se and um, really kind of delve in to this band. So I started with the first record. And of course, with Pink Floyd, it's always uh, the very root of Pink Floyd surrounds the genesis with Sid Barrett. And as we all know, we're, yes, sir. You know, we're so uh, consistently amazed in rock and roll with tragedy and beauty, and Sid was both. And uh, his, his, original artistic vision that's, that's expressed on the first Pink Floyd record really defined what this band still continues to be, uh, an exploration into the outer terrains of whatever it is that makes music happen. I'd just like to spotlight a couple records that really, to me, define what Pink Floyd's all about. After, after Sid went wherever Sid went, um, I listened to some of the records after that, and, and, it, and they really sounded like a band unsure of where to go. And it wasn't until the record that they put out called Metal that suddenly it had that sound, you know, galloping horses and astral planes and echoes. And, and it's really on that record that you hear a band fusing and synthesizing something that's never been really recreated. Um, of course, Dark Side of the Moon, the ultimate synthesis of sound and vision and lyrics. The other thing I'd like to point out is the album The Wall, which, as I said, when I was 14 years old, was beyond my conception. But at 28 years old, it's one of the bravest records I've ever heard. And I really can't point to anything else that's ever summed up everything that's fucked up about life, everything that's fucked up about rock. It takes on politics, hero worship, rock and roll, and our desires to connect with the universe all in one fell swoop. It really, truly is an amazing testament to how far they were willing to go to reach the outer limits of what's important. The band Pink Floyd is really bigger than any particular individual. And uh, we are here tonight inducting as much an institution, if we excuse the pun, as the particular members of the band. They've survived everything. And I don't personally know all the politics between them all, but we have the music as a legacy. So I personally, and I hope all of you, will salute the legacy of their bravery, courage, spirit, and ultimately their music. It's a great legacy, and I wish that um, I wish them all well. Pink Floyd.
have to grab a couple more of these for our two band members that started playing different tunes, Roger and Sid. We'll take a couple of these home for them. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> So you think you can tell Heaven from hell Blue skies from pain Can you tell a green field From cold steel rain A smile from a man Do you think you can tell And did they get you the train
And we do, we do. Thank you very much again. Good night. Thank you very much.